Lord. Hello everyone. You are welcome to MFM Tallinn weekly online broadcast, Tag is Strong. We are happy to see you watching our videos. We believe you are getting blessed by them. We trust God that this broadcast will bless you mightily as well. In Jesus' name, Amen. I want to use this opportunity to wish you season's greetings and a happy new year in advance. It's been a wonderful year all through 2022. And sincerely, I myself am very grateful to God. And I must tell you, it's not been easy to come and do this recording and bring this word to you every week, every Tuesday, from January to now. By the grace of God, this will be the 52 episode for this year. Sometimes, even as a pastor, I get busy with my schedules at work, my personal life, my studies, and but yet, sometimes when I want to give up, God still gives me the grace, the strength to carry on, to get dressed, to sit before the camera, to record, to get it edited, and to get it uploaded. And I know all these things are not in vain because I'm convinced in my heart that surely someone is out there that is being blessed by these words that we are bringing to you on a weekly basis. And if you are the person, if you have been blessed by any of the episode, we want you to send in your testimonies to our email address, mfmtalin at gmail.com. We would love to hear from you how the word of God has blessed you and turned your life around. By the grace of God, this will be the last episode for the year 2022. And when this will be seeing ourselves on the strong, it will be in the new year and it will be in 2023. And my prayer is that everyone listening to me and watching me right now, my God will sustain and keep you into the new year and beyond in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today I'm going to speak to you in a very short word. It's, it's powerful, but it's short. And I've called it the spirit behind the word. The spirit behind the word. Every word we speak carries a spirit behind it. When a man of God blesses you, the spirit of God carries the word and makes it come to pass. When an occultic person issued a curse the words by themselves mean nothing but the spirit behind the word will make sure that the word carry weight and they do the maximum damage that are intended by the person that has released those words so i want you to take very conscious note of the spirit of the words you are receiving into your life. In our days, there are many men of God, women of God, prophets, apostles, bishops. Each of them carry different spirit and grace. And some of them carry spirits that are not of God. But they are disguised and they are dressed like sheep, but they are wolves. And if you perpetually and continuously receive those words of those wolves into your life, then unconsciously the spirit of the wolf will enter into you. And whether you like it or not, you will see yourself replicating what the wolves are doing. If you are listening to a good shepherd, that spirit will enter into you and will make you to replicate what the shepherd is doing. So, 
If you are doing some things that are beyond your imagination, you just don't know something is taking over you, causing you to do things that you would normally not do. Check what you are listening. Check the spirit you have opened your heart to. And I will confirm that to you in the scriptures. Join me in the book of Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 2. Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 2. It goes thus. And the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that I heard him that speak unto me. Shall I read that to you again? He said, and the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. Meaning that the spirit entered because of the word. Jesus said, the word I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Meaning that if you are listening to a man of God, the words he's speaking to you, they are spirit and they are life. That means they are adding to your spirit and they are adding to your life. If you are listening to a wolf, the person is releasing into your spirit a demonic and occultic spirit. And it is going to be killing you slowly inside. And this is where the problem is. If you are not disciplined, if you don't have the sun in the spirit, and you are a church prostitute, quote and unquote, you jump from pillar to post looking for the next miracle service, looking for the next prophetic invasion or apostolic invasion. You may be opening yourself to demonic invasion unconsciously. It is good to be a child of God. It is good to listen to other men of God. I myself, I do so. But you need discernment because not all bishops are true bishops. Not all apostles are true apostles. Not all pastors are true pastors. And I'm not here to tell you which one is true or not. You need to develop your spirit to the extent that you can discern by yourself who is truly called of God and not. And when you have this the sun, you will be able to filter the messages you hear. Guard your heart with all diligence, the scripture says, for out of it are the issues of life. And the issues of life that come from your heart come from what you hear, what you see, what you permit into your spirit and into your heart. So, brethren, this is high time to know. For every sermon you listen, there's a spirit behind it. As you are listening to me, if you have been listening to this broadcast every week, there's a spirit behind the broadcast that we call Be Strong. And the, the, the spirit is just simple. To strengthen believers. To make them stand as what? As warriors in this end time. So if you continue listening to, the, to, listen to these words, you will become strong. But if you listen to other sermons, that are backed up by evil spirit. You'll be bombarded and attacked and invaded by evil spirit. And you will not know why. You will think, how come? I listen to this man of God, powerful sermon. I go back to sleep. It's demonic attack I'm having. It's bad dreams I'm having. You need to check. Check the spirit of the man of God you are listening to. Because the Bible says, the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and life. If you listen to a man of God, if you go to your sleep, you are supposed to have dreams of deliverance, dreams of breakthrough, not dreams that you are being kidnapped, dreams that you are being pressed down. That should pass a message that you have opened the gate of your heart and of your spirit to a contrary spirit. To every word, there is a spirit behind it. So, therefore, I pray for you right now. Father, and lift up your sons and daughters into your hands. Every man and woman watching me right now that are laboring under the words of fake and false prophet, and these words have manipulated their lives, I speak deliverance unto you right now in the name of Jesus. 
every gate of your life that has been opened to the devil, consciously or unconsciously, by the reason of the blood, I command the gates to be shut right now. In the name of Jesus, every evil occupiers of your body, of your spirit, of your soul, of your mind, I command them to be ejected in the name of Jesus. I speak right now that the Lord by his mercy will connect you to the right sources for you to receive spiritual healing, for the right sources for you to receive spiritual strengthening, for the right sources, God will connect you to the right source where you will eat the true word of God without any dilution. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray for your church that you purge your church. Every man and woman that is calling upon the name of the Lord in deceit, Lord, expose them and disgrace them. Pull them out of your church so that your name shall be hallowed in our generation. Thank you, O Lord, for hearing our prayers. Lord, I pray for everyone listening unto, listening right now that by the mercies of God, Lord, you will grant them a running over cup in this season. Your cup shall run over. You will live your days in abundance and in good health. You will not die before your time. You will fulfill the numbers of your days. You will lend to many nations and you will not borrow. It is well with you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. On behalf of myself and my crew, these wonderful people have always been behind the cameras helping to make this recording successful and possible every week. On behalf of the members of MFM Tallinn, I wish you once again season's greetings and a happy new year in advance. I want you to do the work of an evangelist, share our videos, like our Facebook and our YouTube channels, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and as you do so, God will bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Remember, this broadcast has been brought by MFM Tallinn. We have called it Be Strong. We pulled it out of the scriptures, Ephesians 6 verse 10, that says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. I'm your friend in the School of Prayer and Deliverance, Pastor Tunde Avilobu. God bless you and see you in the new year. Bye. In his word, hallelujah. It is only that you look and live.